Today in the shop, uh, we're going to talk about this dishwasher I'm working on. And uh, there was a leak underneath uh, the dishwasher while it was running, uh, while the agitator was actually uh, running. And uh, what we diagnosed it to was uh, this particular component. This is a GE dishwasher. And the component that we diagnosed was the issue is the diverter valve. So this is the valve that takes the water from the bottom of the tub and brings it to the top of the dishwasher. Uh, this this job isn't, isn't that difficult. Uh, however, you're going to need to have a few tools. You have to remove the dishwasher completely from the, from the cabinetry. Um, I'm, I, I didn't film that, but you should, you should basically know how to remove the electrical, the water connection, and uh, the drain hose. You remove that. Uh, and then tip the dishwasher on its side like I have now. You then is the the pump, which goes here, which connects like that on the dishwasher. And it's held in place by a, a little clip here that slides in. And the, the, tu the pump, the tube goes in here and slides on here and it's held in by these it's all held on by these metal clamps in order to get these metal clamps off all you do is you take a screwdriver very carefully you don't want to tear any of the rubber and you stick the screwdriver into you stick the screwdriver into this part of the clamp the clamp will be closed like that you take the screwdriver and you stick it in here and you twist it and it breaks the clamp apart so you can take it off the kit when you order the part comes with new clamps um, that you can uh, attach so we're actually at the part where we're going to remove the valve you're going to need a quarter inch socket or a quarter inch driver like this and you're just going to unscrew the three screws that hold the valve the diverter valve in place you remove those one two and the third one's up top here I don't like to use power tools to do this because a lot of these components, the majority of these components are made of plastic. And because they're made of plastic, they can have the tendency to break, uh, especially if they're older or you're over torque things. So I don't like to do that. And then in order also to get the valve out, you need to remove, ensure, make sure you remove the, the agitator um, from inside the dishwasher. The valve, once you take the screws out, there's another little clip on the inside for the diverter tube to, to go up to the top. You push that over, it pops right out. And this is what the diverter valve looks like. And normally the failure point is right here on the valve. It's hard, maybe hard to see, but right here, there is a chafing type of wear that causes it to leak. A new valve, uh, you can order online. It will run you about $57 to $60, depending on what supplier you get it from. You might be able to get it cheaper uh, if you search around. I hope this helps if you uh, run into an issue with your GE dishwasher that is leaking from underneath from the diverter valve. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe and like button.